John chapter 11, reading from verse 43 to 44. When he said this, Jesus called in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands and feet wrapped with strips of linen and a cloth around his face. Jesus said to them, take off the grave clothes and let him go. When Lazarus came forth out of the tomb, he could not loose himself. So Jesus told his disciples to loose him and let him go. In other translations, it says that Jesus told his disciples to loose him and set him free. You see, only Jesus can raise people from spiritual death and give them eternal life. But notice that when Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead, there was still something pertaining to death hanging on to him. The grave clothes. And that's the way many people come into the kingdom of God. We come in sinners. And that is how we come into the kingdom. Because the Spirit of God is the one that draws the hearts of men, the sinners, towards the mercy and the love of Christ. And so all of us are drawn into the kingdom by God's love and God's mercy because we are all bound in sin. But note this, that Jesus gave this commandment. He told His disciples to loose them and set them free. And I want to say to you, that is why God has placed the essential giftings within the body of Christ. And within each local congregation. You see, Jesus has appointed pastors, teachers, evangelists, prophets, apostles. They are the essential giftings given to the body of Christ. And their purpose is to help you and their mandate is to unravel the grave clothes of your character of the things of the former life before you knew Christ. Amen. Ephesians 4.11 says to equip the saints for the work of service until the body reaches its fullness in maturity. And the pastors, the teachers, the evangelists, those ministerial gifts represent the nature and character and the heart of God being revealed to men through men. And they have a mandate and they have a responsibility towards God and towards you as congregational members, as followers of Christ. And they have to address you in love. The pastoral team, they are not just here to pat you on the shoulder and tell you that everything in your lifestyle is more like a man. That's what we would like to hear. But that is not what God has called the gifts to function in. On the contrary, the body of Christ and the essential giftings given to the body, they are there to unravel the grave clothes of your former life. And that can only come by the Word of God. That can only come by us understanding how we should live according to Jesus and according to the Christian culture. You see, the day you were brought into the kingdom was the day that God expects us to lay down our culture. We lay down our African culture. It is nailed to the cross. We lay down our English culture. It is nailed to the cross. We lay down our Swana culture. It is nailed at the cross. Because we have been adopted into the kingdom of God. 
And God has called us out of our traditions and out of our worldly cultures. And He's called us into a, a priesthood, a royal culture. Amen? Amen? And we need to understand that we have been adopted into a royal priesthood. A culture belonging to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. But there is a responsibility that we must live up to. 